What's up guys, welcome back to the second video in this Django REST framework series. So last video, we set up the basic post model. We did that here and we went over how to serialize our data. So we converted it from a Python data type into JSON and back using Django REST frameworks serialization and model serialization class. So in this video, we are going to look at how we can write Django views using our serializer so we can view our API in the browser. So the first thing we're gonna do is in our posts app directory folder, we're gonna open up views.py. Okay, so in the views.py, we can import a couple things to start off. So we need the HTTP response and the JSON response. So we'll say from Django.http import HTTP response, comma, JSON response. We'll say from Django.views.decorators.csrf import csrf underscore exempt. Next we need the JSON parser, we'll say from rest underscore framework dot parsers import JSON parser. We need the post model here and we need the post serializer. So we'll say from posts dot models import post, make sure that's capital, there we go, and from posts dot serializers import post serializer. Okay, and inside of this view, we need to define two view methods. We need a post list and a post detail. So when we request all the posts from the API, we want to get that back. And we can also request or update an individual post, in which case we need the post ID to do that. So to start off, we're going to say at csrf underscore exempt. Talk about that in a second. And then our method here will say def post underscore list. So we're getting a list of all the posts and we'll pass in request. Inside this method body, we need to check for two things. We need to check if we have a get request, then we need to do something. And if we have a post request, we have to do something. So if we have a get request, we want to get all the posts and then we need to serialize all the posts and we need to return the JSON response so we can view that. Now, if we have a post request, we need to parse the JSON data. We need to serialize that. And then if the data is valid, save it and return a JSON response with the data and the status. If the data is not valid, return a JSON response with the errors in a status of 400. So we're going to say if request.method equals get do something elif request.method equals post do something here. So let's focus on this get first. So if it's a get request, we want to grab all the posts and set that equal to posts.objects.all. So this variable here now has all the post objects. We need to serialize that. So we'll say serializer equals post serializer, pass in the posts, and we're using many of them, all of them. So we need many equals true. 
and let's return the JSON response with the data. And we'll say safe equals oops, safe equals false. Awesome. So that's all we need for the get method. Now for the post method, we're going to say data equals JSON parser dot parse. And we're going to pass in the request. Then we're going to say serializer equal to post serializer data equals to data. Then we're going to say if the serializer dot is valid. So if it if the info we passed is valid, then we can save that with dot save method. And then if it's valid, we want to return the JSON response with the data in a status of 201. And if it's not valid, we're going to return JSON response serializers dot errors. So return the errors with a status of 400. So this is it for the post list method. Now let's move on to an individual post. So this will be this will be the same as this up here, but instead of post list, we want post detail because it will be a detail view of an individual post. And we also need a variable for the post ID. And then inside of here, we're going to first do a try and accept uh, statement so we can make sure that the post exists. And if it does, we'll get it. And if it doesn't, we'll return an error. So we'll say try post equals to post dot objects dot all. Oops, sorry, dot get, not all. All was up here when we want to find all of them. Here we want to get a specific one where pk is equal to pk. And then accept post dot does not exist. And then if it doesn't exist, we're going to return HTTP response of, you guessed it, 404. Next, we need to check if it is a get request. So we'll say if request dot method equal to get, we want to pass the post in the post serializer. So we can deserialize the data and return the JSON response. So we'll say ser serializer is equal to post serializer, pass in the post, and then we'll return a JSON response of serializer.data. Okay, simple enough. Elif if the request is a put or an update request, so request dot method is equal to put we're going to say the data is equal to JSON parser dot parse pass in the request we're going to say serializer is equal to the post serializer. We need to pass in the post and the data. And then if it's valid, so if serializer dot is valid, save it and return the JSON response with the data not valid, return a JSON response with the errors. So serializer dot errors and a status of 400. <clears throat> and lastly, if it is a delete request, this will be very simple. We simply delete it and return the status. So elif request 
dot method is equal to delete, we'll say host dot delete and return the response. So we'll say status is equal to 204, which is a successful delete. So that's all we have for the views. So here is our post detail view, and here is our post list view. So now that we have this, the last thing we have to do is wire up our URLs. So I'm going to come back over here, and in the posts app folder, I'm going to right click and say new file, and I'm going to make a file called urls.py. <clears throat> Inside here, I'm going to import two things. We need to import the path, which is from django.urls, import path, and we also need to import our views from the posts app. So we'll say from posts import views. And in here, we'll say URL patterns are equal to a list. And inside of here, we will say path. And we need two paths. So the first path we need will be posts slash. So when we go to our local host slash posts, this will be our views dot post list. So post underscore list. And then when we go to posts slash an integer, so we use this uh, formatting here. So if we go to an individual post number, we want to get views dot uh, post underscore detail. Now the final thing we have to do is go back here and into our main tutorial folder here. We need to open up this urls.py. And then in here, we need to add it as well to the URL patterns to say, hey, look for these URL patterns as well. So up here, where we're importing path, we are also going to import include. And then down here, we're going to add another path. And we'll say, this is the index path, include posts.urls. So include all of these URLs. OK, so now we're ready to test this. So let's jump back into our terminal. And let's list everything out. Make sure we're at our manage.py level. And let's run the server. OK, so everything looks good. And we're running on this local host. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to open this up in a browser. So this is the index page. And if you get a page not found 404 error, that's fine because we didn't hook up the view for this home page. What we're going to do is go up here and say slash posts. When you enter here, you should get the posts that we created earlier. So if you do, that's great. <clears throat> now you'll notice that each of these has an ID as well. So ID 1, ID 2, and ID 3. We can go to any of those and get the post details. So slash 2. And there we go. We get our post with the ID 2. We can do the same for 1 or 3. So not only can you see this API in the browser, but we can also make requests right from our terminal. So back here in our terminal, we're going to keep the server running. I'm going to open up a new shell. And inside of here, inside of here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say pip install httpy. And this will allow us to make requests to our API and get a nice JSON response back. So in here, we can get a list of all of our snippets by saying HTTP and then typing in the URL. So I'm going to go grab that and paste that here. And when I hit enter, 
There we go. So I get a nice list of everything back in JSON. And just like we did in the browser, how we got an individual post, we can do that here by specifying slash two, for example. And there we go. Now we get a second post. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Next video, we're going to jump into more requests and responses and dive deeper into the Django REST framework.